<laughs> My name is Vali Master Mangu. Thank you for being here this morning, this afternoon. Go ahead and introduce yourself to everybody. Let us know where you're tuning in from. Hello, everybody. Uh, thanks for having me on first, Vahid. Uh, my name is Eugene Devereaux, and I'm coming from, uh, my brand is Irish Bootstrapper. So uh, I'm actually based in Ireland here, so a little town called Carlow. It's about one hour from Dublin. And uh, yeah, happy to be on the, on the live. So how did you start this crazy path that you're on right now? <laughs> yeah. Tell us a little bit. Yeah, so I suppose I was, I had a, pretty good job with a you know a corporate company uh, wasn't happy in it and it's kind of the cliche of you know someone quits their job and goes down their own uh, entrepreneurial path and it kind of was like that but it was it was a slower time frame so I just wasn't happy I was pretty depressed in my life and um, just didn't really know what I was doing like what, what was what was my purpose ultimately and so I quit my job and decided to go off traveling and um, went off to Southeast Asia for five months um, and started a travel blog there. And I always had the idea that, you know, I, I would do my own thing and I wanted my own venture, something that I could call my own, that I could build and grow it into something something significant. Um, and then, so the the blog kind of snowballed then as, as I was traveling around, I was getting more ideas. What could I do? What could I add to it? How could I make this into like a business venture? How could I make this into an actual brand that people can relate to that has like brand values? That's not just another e-commerce drop shipping store or just another dime a dozen kind of a product. Um, and then I started the podcast and I, I'm trying to introduce a, like a clothing range. So ultimately building it into a lifestyle brand that's all about promoting positive mental health through travel, adventure, and pushing out your, your comfort zone. That is awesome. Listen, I'm a big, don't tell my wife, I'm a big <laughs> fan of, of Discovery Channel, especially when they go to, to different sceneries and you see the cameraman and another crew and they go in the wilderness and they videotape all of these different things. I, I keep, I, I don't like these different shows that they got on TV. I don't watch regular TV. So all I watch is, predominantly on TV is documentary. And sometimes yeah, yeah. you see these really fur, fur I mean, th th it's amazing what you get on video that people, you know, so now my daughter is only like 15, 16 months old. She's watched more documentary on, on, on traveling and different things than I think some normal human beings that are like 30, 40 years old. Yeah, so that's yeah. what I kind of feed her to, to get her started thinking that this is not just the city life. There's yeah. life outside yeah. also too. 100%. Yeah. And that's, that's one of the, that's one of the benefits of, of traveling like for a long stint like that, because you know, you can go on your holiday for a week or two weeks and you have an itinerary and you know, everything is kind of boxed into something and it's, there's no kind of spontaneity or there's no learning for yourself really in it. And, uh, but when you go away on your own for a couple of months, like you're on your own and you have to decide you have to figure out stuff out for yourself there mightn't be english language there or the food might be totally different transportation like driving around a, a scooter or a motorbike in like ho chi minh or somewhere like that it's crazy um compared no, to what definitely. we're used to yeah, yeah. <laughs> so here's my question if somebody's out there right now just like you were in the past you were at a job, whether you were happy or you're not happy, that's beside them. But you know you wanted more out of life. Mm -hmm. If somebody's out there, what are a couple of tips that you could give them how to start this journey of entrepreneurship? Or Because what you did is crazy, mate. What you did is crazy. Not everybody goes and just does it like that. Let me quit my job. They like to kind of plan the business. So mm -hmm. what would you say would be a good transition to go from nine to five? to transitioning to entrepreneurship and how much self-development you need in that process? It's a good question. But I think now with COVID-19, it's, it's never been a better time because up to COVID-19, everybody thought that their job was secure. And the reality is, is that the, you're, you're, it was never secure. It was this illusion of security. So something happens like COVID-19 and it completely changes the game. And it may, makes people think maybe a lot of people are working at home now or maybe they lost their job or maybe they're working part time. So it's it's an opportunity to for those who want to take it to 
you know, to take that leap and to, like, it's it's a leap of faith, but once you decide and you go down that track, then the fear of it is gone. Once you actually start doing it, um, the fear of, like, the unknown or, or leaving that perceived uh, security behind is is gone and it's it's much more exciting and it's more rewarding and when you know when stuff starts coming together and you're hitting milestones and you can see your your venture kind of you can visualize it and um, it's it's much much more rewarding than a nine to five for a lot of people for a lot of people i mean listen i believe if you want to become an entrepreneur you have to be comfortable being uncomfortable is that the same with traveling like because if you're being spontaneous, yeah. you don't know what's going on. You got to yeah. be prepared. You got to think on top of your feet. Like you got to be on top of your game. You can't just go yeah. there playing around. It's it's, it's it's travel is a, is a perfect example, and, and that's kind of the beauty of of what I'm trying to do with the brand. That you know you're you're outside of your comfort zone, whether it's traveling or whether you're attempting a world record or like doing a skydive or a bungee jump or something crazy. That it's it's getting you to face that fear and it's similar to starting starting a business because there are so many unknowns but once you face the fear and you take the first step something else appears and then like everybody is kind of just figuring it out as they go along really there is no official blueprint to to start in any business really there's tips and tricks and you know people have done it in the past but you have to take that leap and you have to believe in what you're doing ultimately no, well, definitely. I mean, I, I watch some of these documentaries and I see that they, they really need to think on their feet. And I think it's more challenging than what Discovery or History Channel puts on the TV. I mean, yeah. they're not going to show all of their struggles, but I know it's not that easy. You know, everybody thinks they got this satellite phone they can call for emergency, you know, food <laughs> drop. Well, like, that's yeah. not what's going on, you know? It's yeah. not like a helicopter standing on a standby that's going to fly in. You just literally yeah. gotta survive and yeah. and do it. and I think that makes you mentally tough. I'm not talking about physically because anybody could use the muscles and and make it you know physically be tough. Mm. But I think in that environment, mental health is very very important. What can you tell us about mental health? Yeah, so from my own scenario, like I kind of suffered with depression and stuff in the past and went through a good few really low points. Um, but but through traveling and like especially being in Asia where the like the lifestyle is different and I I think that Asia is much more connected to like nature and they have a, a more holistic view of, of life. Um and then just like some of Asia, like Cambodia, when when you see kind of developing countries and you, you look at your own situation back home, just little things like that where you realise, oh, God, this this really is proper poverty, you know. Like we we don't know poverty in the West, um, and then you go and see like people who are living hand to mouth each day, but in some way they're kind of happy as well because they have everything they need, you know. Um, so stuff stuff like that, examples like that, um, kind of helps helps your own situation because you realise that there's lots more people that are maybe worse off than you. And that it, it gives you peace of mind of your own situation and kind of makes you count your own blessings, you know? No, definitely. I think it gives you, I think it eliminates the entitlement mentality, one. Yeah. Two, makes you mentally tough. And I think it brings a level of awareness that you may not necessarily get by just going to Hawaii and, you know, yeah. go there for two weeks. It's, it's different, especially when you go to a third world country and you see that. And you see how life is so simple. It doesn't have to be that complicated. And we don't get, you don't, you don't need to have all of this stuff around you to be happy. People are happy just playing around outside with a little soccer ball. And that's yeah. it. <laughs> you know, it's yeah. literally it. So it's, it gets you connected to what life is all about, I think. Really, really Eventually. Yeah. Like that's, so tell us how how can yeah. people find your brand? Where can they look you up? Yeah, so irishbootstrapper.com dot com um, is the website. So the podcast, the blog, um, and I'm launching launching a store at the moment as well. So I'm kind of working on different products and seeing seeing what people want and what's what's the best. Um, and then obviously Instagram is probably the most active um, social media channel as well. So Instagram, uh, Facebook, Twitter to a small extent. 
uh, YouTube channel and then the, the, the website irishboostrapper.com is, is, the, is the number one. I love it. Listen, thank you so much for taking this time and being with us and sharing this morning uh, or this afternoon. Hopefully we'll get to do more. Keep up the good work on the post on, 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 on IG. I, I was going through it and it's doing fantastic, brother. I love it. I keep, I keep, I keep watching out for it. I love the Cheers. scenery and Cheers, I love I how you do things. Keep it up. Thank you. And thanks for everyone coming in. Cheers. Thanks. You bye got bye. it. Stay safe. Bye-bye. Cheers. Bye-bye.